thanks to the certain pieces of information that AMD shared in their CES 2023 keynote, we now know pretty much everything there is to know about the upcoming desktop Radeon RX 7600 XT graphics card based on Navi 33 GPU. So, in this video, I will tell you about its specs, performance in games, release date, price and more. Even before the CES 2023 keynote, most of the RX 7600 XT specs have leaked, but now we have the official confirmation to back up the data in that leak. Allow me to elaborate on that. AMD has officially revealed a laptop version of the RX 7600 XT, which received the RX 7600 MXT name, where M stands for mobile. This mobile graphics card uses the full Navi 33 GPU. You can find its specifications on the official AMD website. That is the exact same GPU which AMD plans to use in the desktop RX 7600 XT graphics card later this year. The desktop RX 7600 XT features 2048 shader cores, 32 ray tracing cores, 8GB of GDDR6 memory across a 128-bit bus and 32MB of Infinity Cache. As you may have noticed, the specs are identical to its predecessor RX 6600 XT, but 7600 XT has a technological advantage. It is manufactured on TSMC 6 nanometer process, while 6600 XT used an older TSMC 7 nanometer process. So, even without major architectural changes, 7600 XT has an OK advantage over the 6600 XT in terms of power efficiency as well as performance. Speaking of the performance, AMD revealed the gaming benchmarks for RX 7600 MXT laptop, which allowed me to reverse engineer the performance of RX 7600 XT desktop card. Bear in mind that this is a very rough estimation and should be taken with a grain of salt. But I did work hard on bringing you these numbers, so a like would be much appreciated. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p, using the highest quality preset, the laptop RX 7600 MXT should deliver around 73 FPS on average. The desktop version of the GPU should be able to deliver around a 10% better result, so I expect to see close to 80 FPS average for RX 7600 XT. This game is a good benchmark for understanding how these graphics cards will perform in future AAA games that are coming in the next couple of years. From this result we can conclude that 7600 XT will be a strong choice for playing such games on the highest quality settings at 1080p resolution while staying at above 60fps average. If you are interested in the latest competitive shooters, then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is a good example to check out. I expect to see around 120 FPS average in this game at 1080p on ultra quality preset. A decent display of performance for a pleasantly smooth gaming experience. And if you want to better utilize your high refresh rate monitor, then there is always room to improve the FPS by lowering the graphics settings. Metro Exodus represents AAA games from 2018 to 2020 period. Expect to see close to 120 FPS average on the highest graphics quality preset in this title. Very nice. In The Witcher 3 at 1080p on the highest graphics preset, RX 7600 XT should deliver close to 140 FPS average. This title represents older AAA games that came out around 2015 but still look pretty good by modern standards. FYI, this is not the next gen version of The Witcher 3. Judging by the data we have explored in this video, I expect RX 7600 XT to perform somewhere in between RTX 3060 Ti and RTX 3070 level of performance. Basically, it should be an RX 6700 XT replacement with 8GB of memory instead of 12. Also, that is about 20% performance improvement compared to its predecessor RX 6600 XT. Of course, the difference in memory size and class of the 6700 XT versus 7600 XT should be reflected in the price. RX 6700 XT price at launch was $479. I expect RX 7600 XT to receive MSRP close to $400, because companies have shown that every tier of graphics cards is getting more expensive in this generation. 
By the way, RX 6600 XT launched with a $379 price tag, so it would not be a huge price increase if my expectation is correct. I very much doubt that it will be priced higher than $400. Both Nvidia and AMD are having a difficult time trying to convince people to buy lower tier graphics cards at heavily increased prices, such as $800 plus dollars for RTX 4070 Ti or $900 for RX 7900 XT, which was supposed to be called RX 7800 XT instead if AMD would have been honest with the GPU segmentation in this generation. As for the release date, I do not have an exact date to share with you just yet, but I do expect to see RX 7600 XT launch by late spring to early summer this year. Subscribe to the channel for updates on that. Another big advantage Navi 33 based RX 7600 XT should have this generation is availability. In 2023, it is easier to manufacture 6 nanometer chips in large quantities because it is not the most advanced process that TSMC offers. So, expect good availability of both RX 7600 XT for desktops, as well as RX 7600 M XT for laptops this year. Let me know in the comments below what you think about RX 7600 XT. Click on one of the videos on the screen to learn about the other upcoming AMD Radeon 7000 series graphics cards, and you know what to do if you enjoyed this video. It was I, Vadim, until next time.